Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you your January 2020 Soul Bound reading. Keep in mind that time is fluid, so whenever you view this, we meant to hear the message. If it doesn't resonate at all, please check your moon, rising, and Venus signs for love. My uploads are done in reverse astrological order for Pisces to the Aries, your waiting for additional messages. You can now find my upload schedule in the description box below, as well as timestamps, so you can actually skip straight ahead from the announcements to any pre-shuffle messages, and even go directly to the actual reading itself. Cancer, I'm changing up how I'm doing my readings a little bit. So tell me how you like this. This reading is intended for Twin Flames and Soulmates. <clears throat> this is to hopefully give us a closer look at the five-dimensional and three-dimensional aspects of the Divine Masculine and Feminine's life. Divine Masculine energy here at the top, Divine Feminine at the bottom. Keep in mind we all have Divine Masculine and Feminine energy, so as a Feminine you very well could come through as the Masculine or vice versa. Please just take it how it resonates. If it doesn't fit at all, please don't try to force it to fit. Please just check the other placements of your chart, okay? On the bottom of the deck here, we have the release, okay? There's a cycle that's ending here, something that's having to be released, something that's having to be rebuilt, I'm hearing. The deck that we're using is the Art of Love Tarot. We are clarifying with Mystic Dreamer and closing with the Lover's Oracle. You are someone here, masculine or feminine, Someone is closing a chapter in their life. They're releasing something. The tower has fallen and things are trying to be rebuilt, right? In the Divine Masculine's 5D thoughts, in a spiritual sense, he is thinking Eight of Stars, Eight of Wands. He's thinking about communication with this feminine. He is... Mm, he is wanting to come at her full force in communication. He wants to speak clearly, pre precisely. <clears throat> he wants to have a very long discussion, a very quick moving discussion about the two of them. He wants to communicate to her where he is at on the Twin Flame journey. I'm feeling even if he doesn't understand it, Or if she doesn't understand it. Someone here is wanting to communicate to the other and explain the twin flame journey and the soul level connection the two of them have. Interesting. Desires here. The eight of trees or pentacles. He is desiring to put work in on this connection. He is desiring to work on this pentacle, to put everything else aside, to work on the commitment and the stability, the longevity of this relationship with his divine counterpart. Please keep in mind, if it resonates the other way around, please just flip it, okay? In his intentions here, the page of angels or swords, he wants to gain information and clarity on the situation. His intentions are to understand where the Divine Feminine at, is at in this connection. Please also be aware that the first three cards are soul level, so these may not translate in the 3D, but his spirit or soul. In the 3D, in his actions toward the Feminine, the ace of angels he wants to bring bring her truth and clarity communication he wants a new beginning in honesty and truth he wants to his actions are to speak to the feminine in a very truthful sense <clears throat> maybe about this tower that's either going on in his life or hers in the divine feminine's 5d thoughts we have the High Priestess. She's awakening. She's feeling the significance of this connection. She is letting her intuition guide her. She's going through something very spiritual at this time. She could be a Virgo or a Pisces or vice versa. That could be the masculine. Her intuition is guiding her. She's going through some life lessons. I'm also hearing going through some inner meditation 
trying to listen for the signs, listen to her inner voice. In her desires here, we have the path. Her desire on the physical sense, in her heart space, in her soul. She is desiring to move forward on the twin flame journey. To move towards her masculine. Her soul is crying out for him. This is cancer energy. Her soul is crying out for the divine masculine. Her intuition is trying to awaken her, to guide in her. In her intentions here, the king of stars. She is intending to be very brave, very courageous, very confident. She's feeling very physically charged for her masculine. Or she sees him in this light as someone very passionate, very attractive. Her intentions are to mirror his energy and to move toward him very courageously, very confidently. In her 3D actions with masculine, we have the queen of stars. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They're side by side. We have the king and queen of stars, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. This is beautiful. She is matching him. Her, what did I say before I picked this card? She's intending to match her masculine. She is intending to match him, to be his match. She is mirroring him strongly right now. The physical chemistry, the sexual desire, it's very heavy right now between the two of them. She wants to charge forward in her heart to this masculine. Alright, clarifying with the Mystic Dreamer Tarot. Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. The Divine Masculine is wanting to bring communication about independence, stability, success. He's wanted to bring communication, possibly that the tower has fallen in his life and he is now single and wanted to communicate that he is ready to work on, the, on this connection. Or he wants to communicate and, and just find out whether or not the Divine Feminine is single and ready for a union. There it is, Eight of, eight of Wands again. He wants to put the work in. He wants clear communication about this, about moving forward. This could be an ex. This could be someone from the past. This is past life. This is definitely past life soulmate, twin flame. This is a reconciliation, truthful communication, about moving forward, gaining perspective. Gemini energy here with the lovers. This is about making a decision between lovers. He wants clear communication, telling the feminine that he is either disconnected from someone and choosing to be with her, or he wants to know where she stands and if she is disconnected with someone else to be with him. Page of Swords, yet again. She is also wanting this truth and communication. She wants to communicate on the 5D that she's beginning to awaken or that she senses her masculine has awakened. She wants truth and clarity, communication. She's been watching her masculine and he has been watching her. We have the Page of Swords here, both of them mirroring energy. She has been watching the Divine Masculine and vice versa. They have been keeping an eye on each other, trying to gain perspective and clarity here to understand where each other is on the Twin Flame journey. Two of Wands, a decision. The Divine Feminine is choosing to pursue and move forward in a direction. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. She wants this Divine Masculine to know that she is coming through as a very grounded, very stable, very secure, very abundant energy here. Someone wants to be very serious. Queen of Swords. In her actions here, she wants to, the Divine Masculine to know that she is intended to stand in this Queen of Swords energy. She wants to cut clean anything that doesn't serve her. She wants to just either disconnect from a karmic partner, or she wants to know that the Divine Masculine has and that she will come at him and gain that perspective and clarity. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Yeah, don't fight, fight this journey. Don't fight the twin flame path. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will drastically improve. 
someone here is going through a tower moment and it's very important that a decision be made here to disconnect from possibly a karmic partner or a situation um, to remain friends here to help each other through this to communicate effectively toward each other and to not fight this do not fight this. I'm shaking a little bit. Do not fight this connection. And I feel like both of you are awakening to this. Alright, Cancer, that was your twin flame soulmate soulbound reading for January 2020. Please like, comment, subscribe. I thank you so very much for watching. I am wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.